Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Now today we're going to work on a lever system or a seesaw system and what we're going to do today is to find an unknown distance which is called D in this case. Now to look at this system as it is balanced as it is, the first thing you want to do is to consider what type of moment is being created. And so what you're going to look at is each force and how they are turning towards the pivot. All right, so if you look at the 30 newtons first, the, the 30 newtons is turning in that direction, indicated by the yellow arrow, and it is going opposite the clock, so this will be an anti-clockwise moment. Go to the 10 newtons, the 10 newtons will turn in that direction, indicated by the orange arrow, and it is going in the direction the way the clock is turning. And so therefore, this is considered as a clockwise moment. Now, the turning effect by the 20 Newton is going in the direction of the pivot in that direction indicated by the orange arrow. And it's also considered as a clockwise moment. The next thing I wanted to focus on or considered is that this system is actually balanced. And since it's balanced, there's a concept that I want to remind you of. Now, the concept I want to remind you of is this, is that when the system is balanced, the total anti-clockwise moment is equal to the total clockwise moment. And so from this, we can go ahead now and start to calculate our clockwise moment and our anti-clockwise moment. Now, remember that a moment is the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. And so let's start with our, with our 30 Newton force that is causing a anti-clockwise moment indicated by this yellow arrow. So here now we're going to have 30 Newtons multiplied by 3 meters. Now, why 3 meters is because the distance from the 30 Newtons towards the pivot is 3, 2, and 1. The entire distance from the 30 Newtons to the pivot is three meters. Now, this will be equivalent to the total clockwise moment, and there are two clockwise moments, one by the 10 newtons, and one is causing by the 20 newtons force. So let's start with 10 newton first. So the 10 newton is one meter away from the pivot. All right, we're gonna add this now to the other moment, and so this is added to the moment created by the 20 Newton force. So it could be 20 multiplied by D, which is the unknown distance from the pivot to the 20 Newton force. Now, once we have this and we set this out, now we can go ahead now and start to work out our calculations now. So 30 Newtons multiplied by three meters will give us 90 Newton meters. Now, this is equivalent to 10 times 1, which is 10 Newton meters, plus 20 times D. Now, the next step is to bring the like terms together. So, we're going to take away this 10 Newton meter from this side and bring it to this side. Now, the way to do this is to go opposite the mathematical sign. So, if it, is added, if, if it was added on this side, you're going to take it away from the other side. So, here we're going to have now... 90 newton meter minus 10 newton meters and it is equivalent now to 20 newtons times d now once we have done this we're going to go to our final step now our final step now is to work out these so we're going to say 90 minus 10 which will give us 80 newton meter equivalent to 20 newtons times d now again we're going to get rid of this value right here and the mathematical sign is a multiplication. So what you're going to do is to divide both sides by 20 newtons. So what we'll have here is 80 newton meter divided by 20 newtons, which is equivalent to D. Now what we can do is to cancel the newtons, right? So let's cancel out N. And so what we have left is 80 divided by 20. And so our answer for D is 4 meters. All right, so this is where we solve our problem and we finish for today. And I want to tell you that I appreciate you watching these lessons. And please create your own balance. Have a wonderful and a blessed day.